Hello, Paint Stream. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hanging in, trying to keep that vibe up. Hope you are as well. And here to help you do the same. So I wanted to start with something from Tasha Silver's book, Outrageous Openness, as we have been doing recently to try to change it up. This is from page 71, <clears throat> and she writes, she suggests a prayer to repeat if you feel like you need to, and it goes like this. Let what wants to come, come. Let what wants to go, go. If it is mine, it will stay. If not, whatever is better will replace it. Now, how appropriate is that for these times? That is appropriate for when you lose someone, that is appropriate whether you lose them through passing or whether you lose them through um, a breakup or something, a divorce. Now, I don't mean, I don't mean to say, oh, if someone in, that you love dies, just feel like, well, whatever, something better will replace it. That's, that's not a great way to think about that. I don't think that's what you meant. But, um, but you know, there's, there's good in your life that will come. Same thing for a job. If you lose a job, let it, let it go. You know, you can think about it for a while and, and feel the feels that you have, but eventually you, you need to shift your focus to, okay, well, something better is out there for me and now, and I need to focus on that because that's, what's going to help you move forward. Right. So today we start lesson 117 dancing. This is roomy. I know nothing, pass away. Only you live on, passing my moods like masks before your face. Dancing through my skull, your wordless secret rattling its jewel in this bowl of bone. Jalal Uddin Rumi, translated by Andrew Harvey from A Year of Rumi. I know nothing, pass away. Only you live on, passing my moods like masks before your face. So I think that is talking about spirit and source universe living through you right you're you're not a human having a spiritual experience you're a spirit having a human experience and this is the case you're doing that in and and then you'll pass on to other dimensions and other realms and have other experiences do i know that that's true for sure no but it makes me feel better to think like that so Hopefully it makes you feel better too. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do, and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect his will really is. Romans 12:2. Don't copy the behavior and customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do, and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect His will really is. So I would agree with that wholeheartedly. I mean, if I did what the average American does, I'd probably be very, very sick right now. And I don't even want to think about what I might be like uh, with this coronavirus pandemic. I'd I feel like um, part of me is a, is a little concerned that I'm at risk now, even though I'm so healthy. But had I not gotten healthy, changed my ways, changed my eating behaviors, and how I treat my body, I, I would certainly be in one of those at-risk groups for sure, without doubt. Um, it takes courage to be different than the people around you, but it's so worth it. And then maybe hopefully you can change them too. You know, what... what people I have influenced, at least that I'm aware of, um, have changed their lives for the better, and I'm hugely thankful for that. So um, you never know what can happen when you change a little. Certainty, uncertainty, is the only certainty there is, and knowing how to live with insecurity is the only security. Oh, ain't that the truth. G John Allen Paulos, P-A-U-L-O-S. Uncertainty is the only certainty there is. And knowing how to live with insecurity is the only security. That is so true. What's the, the thing people say, the phrase, um, change is the only constant. And that's the truth. But so many people resist change and are afraid of change. And 
get upset when there's change and that doesn't make any sense like who told you things would always stay the same that doesn't make any sense that's just not a reality it's not a fact of life and the quicker you can um, come to terms with that I think the happier you'll be overall choose my instruction instead of silver knowledge rather than choice gold for wisdom is more precious than rubies and nothing you desire can compare with her choose my instruction wow so many everything's a woman proverbs 8 10 to 11 that's so interesting very interesting to fear the lord is to hate evil i hate pride and ignorance and arrogance evil behavior i hate ignorance too evil behavior and perverse speech proverbs 8 13 to fear the lord is to hate evil i hate pride and arrogance evil behavior and perverse speech so i would like to switch that word hate or fear fear of the lord i feel like it's revere but put what you will there counsel and sound judgment are mine I have understanding and power Proverbs 814 that's a good thing to say to yourself all the time counsel and sound judgment are mine I have understanding and power I love those who love me and those who seek me find me with me are riches and honor unending wealth and prosperity my fruit is better than fine gold what I yield surpasses choice silver Proverbs 8, 17, 19. So I think the point of that is, um, you know, if you seek enlightenment, you will be abundant. That doesn't necessarily mean in physical financial terms, right? It doesn't mean gold and silver. It means um, something much greater than that. And I, I can't tell you how true that is. Um, I wouldn't trade happiness and joy for almost anything. That's how important and special it is. So have a great day. Peace out.